Hey guys, it's Jessica, the other half of Jessica and Cody, here with something I am super excited for. It is my da 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 November Owl Crate. It's November, right? Yes, pretty sure it's November. I am so excited to open this box. I have no idea what's in here, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get cracking and open it. I already pre-ripped the tape that was holding the box closed. I don't know, whatever. I, I already pre-opened it. So, ooh, here we go. So the very first thing we see is this beautiful spoiler card with a phoenix on there with a little person in the phoenix. And oh, wow, this is really pretty. I like want to frame this and put this somewhere on my shelves because that phoenix is just, that's, that's awesome. And of course, it's the spoiler card. So I'm going to leave that within reach so I can figure out who made what in this box and the oh is this a scarf I don't know what this is but this is some type of fabric item what are you little bag please come out I want to see you oh what is this oh is this a pillowcase maybe Ooh, it is a pillowcase! Oh my gosh! Look at this! This is so cute! What does it say out here? I haven't even read it. It says, as long as there is fire, there is hope. The ember in the ashes. Ooh, I want to read this book! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Look at it! Look at it! This is so cool! I actually don't know if this is going to fit any of my pillows, but this may be the excuse I need to go buy a new pillow. So, you know, and I don't think I'll actually use this pillow when I'm sleeping. This is going to be like a decorative pillow that I put somewhere in my room. Oh, well, I'll find somewhere to put it. So this pillowcase was made by Evie Bookish. So thank you so much, Evie. This is beautiful and I love it. And again, I got to find a pillow to fit this. I'll figured out. Ooh, what is this? I'll create exclusive planter. What? Is there a plant in here? First of all, I would just like to say, look at the box this is in. There are little tiny skulls and I forgot the word branches? <laughs> little skulls and little branches from, from trees. Um, so I'm assuming this is a plant because it says the word planter on it and ooh, I almost dropped it. I really, ooh, what is, oh my gosh. Why did I not have this in October? This would have been perfect for my bookshelf at work. Look at this. It's this little skull. I... I don't, this feels like it's ceramic. I'm going to assume it's ceramic. Um, and it's a planter. Uh, oh, and it's got a little I'll create sticker on the bottom. That is so cute. Wow, this thing is like really cold because I just, I just brought this box in from the outside. So that is, that's a tad nippy on my fingers. And this little planter was made exclusively by Team Alcrate. So thank you, Team Alcrate. This is super cool. And I love the silver paint on it. I don't know. It just, it looks super cool and interesting. And I don't really grow plants a lot, really. But uh, I'll, I'll find a plant to put in here. Maybe a small little flower something <gasps> oh ooh, this is what I've been waiting for this is the Alcrate exclusive wax seal kit and again the packaging on this is just beautiful I love the little owl on there and the, oh my gosh I want 
to ooh. Wow! Oh my gosh, these are so cute! Oh my gosh! And I can't even there we go. These are so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> As I'm struggling to take it out. So there is this really pretty purple wax candle which is to make the wax I don't I I'm really bad at talking today but yeah so that little purple that purple candle is for the wax and I can't even get it back in the box oh my gosh <laughs> I'm struggling I'm struggling real hard okay okay got it got it back in its box and this Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Oh, so it's like the, the little, the little stamp with a little wooden handle, and I I gotta try and show you guys this. Let me zoom in, see if you can see it. It's got a little heart. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Oh, <laughs> this is so cute, you guys! And look, it comes with this really pretty like packaging. So I. I, I, oh my gosh, and I didn't even realize it until now, but the purple candle has Alcrate on there, so that's, that's awesome. And I knew this was in the box already because they announced this on the November, spoil, not November spoiler card, the November sneak peek in October. So I knew that was in here, but that is just so cute. Oh my gosh. So this wax seal kit is another exclusive Alcrate item, and it was also designed by Michelle Gray. So thank you so much, Team Alcrate and Michelle Gray. This is so cute. I don't even write letters, but I, I, will, I will find a way to use this wax seal kit. Mark my words, I will. The next thing in here, I think, is just the book. Mm, nope, there's a couple more things in here. So there are a couple of things in this box um, left before the book. And the first thing I see, and oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. It is this little, I don't know if this is a sticker, uh, sticker thing of Dumbledore and Fox from Harry Potter. And... Oh my god, this is so pretty, you guys. Oh, I just want to look at it. It's so cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, and I love it. And I don't know, I still, I really don't know if it's a sticker or like a cardboard. It feels like it could maybe be a sticker, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's cute, and I like it. Okay, so I was right. This is a sticker, and this was designed by Suzanne Draws, so... Thank you, Suzanne Draws, because this is beautiful. I, like, highly doubt I'm going to use this for its intended purpose because I just have a difficult time putting stickers on things, and then I don't, I don't want this ruined. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this and put it on my bookshelf or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out something to do with it. And the next thing is this... Oh, this is a postcard. This is cool. So it says, I know better than to be afraid of stories with this super cool print on there. I don't know if you can see it, but this is really cute. And again, I pff, highly doubt I'm going to actually use that for its intended purpose. But that is just adorable. So this actually isn't listed anywhere on the spoiler card. Now, I don't know if I just missed it when I was reading it or what. But this little postcard, I don't know who made it. Uh, it's super cute. So whoever did, thank you so much. I'm going to, again, put this somewhere on my bookshelf. It's, it's great. And ooh, the very last thing before the book is something called a wishing bracelet. And I think this is a kit of some kind. Um, hmm. I'm kind of afraid to open it, but here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. 
why am I so bad at opening things? Okay, there we go. Okay, yep. This is totally a crafting kit. And there are a lot of little pieces, it looks like, so I don't really want to show you everything, but there's the inside if that helps you at all. I don't know, this kind of feels like friendship bracelets almost to an extent. I really like this. I am actually really not that great at crafting, so maybe having a crafting kit will help me not fail at my crafting dreams. And this crafting kit is actually made by Anne Williams, so thank you so much, Anne. And the spoiler card I actually said that the beads on this bracelet are made from paper. So that is interesting. I don't think I wear this on a daily basis just because paper beads mm, have a... I have a feeling those would smash really easily, so I don't know, but this is a super cool craft. I, I may try and make this at some point. Probably not tonight, but I'll try and make it and we shall see what happens when I do. So the very next thing in the box is the book and I, <laughs> this is really funny because I already have this book actually and it is The Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. Um, I got this book in my fairy loot box and wow. <laughs> This is, I have never had two books given to me in the span of like a month. So this is just super interesting. Wait a minute. Ooh, look at this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like completely off track, but look, there's, look at this map, you guys. I love books have maps in them. I'm such a nerd. Ooh, oh my gosh. I'm so glad I got the second book. Look at it. There's a decal. <laughs> there's a little decal on the cover and there's a map in it. Oh my gosh. This is the greatest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Get back on the book test cover. Is there anything on the back page? Oh, there's another map. There's another map. But there's no decal on this side. So, hmm. But again, yeah. I already got this book in my fairy loot box, and actually, let me go grab that one because I want to compare the two books. I'll be back! Okay, I have returned with my fairy loot edition and my owl crate edition. So, as you can see, these books are slightly different. The fairy loot edition is a lot more vibrant with the colors on the dust cover and of course it has the sprayed edges so again there's a little bit of a difference in the books but this one has a map on the inside flaps and this book does not and the Alcrate edition also has the cool little decal on the front of the book and the Fairloot edition does not so again you know there's each book has its perks, I guess. I'm probably going to read the Owl Crate edition because I would be really worried I would ruin the sprayed edges. So, yeah, don't really know what to say. I kind of already summarized this book in my Fairy Loot unboxing, which may or may not be up by the time this gets uploaded. So if it is, uh, it's going to be there or down below. Oh, hey! As I was looking through the uh, box, I got this cool little phoenix pin. Didn't know that was in there. So that's cool. So... I may or may not read this in November. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put pressure on myself to read it. So if I do, great. If I don't, that's awesome too. So along with the book, there is a letter from the author, which is super cool. I love reading these. And there is a print of the book itself with the quotes from the book. So in my land were known as paper girls, easily torn, existing only for others to use and discard. But there's something they've all forgotten about paper. It can light the world on fire and make it burn. 
Okay, this quote is really making me want to read this book now. Keep forgetting things, my bad. I forgot to mention this earlier, but both of these books are signed by the author. So that's super cool. I love when I get books that are signed by the author. And now I have two of them. So the very last thing left in this box is the little... Wait, which way? Which way? Teether card for next. Aha! I knew it was in there somewhere. I'll look at that in a second. So the last thing in the box besides the teaser card for next month is the Owl Crate newsletter. And I love looking through this as always. So of course there is a litter, litter, letter, little, what am I trying to say? There's a little interview with the author of Girls of Paper and Fire, which I am excited to read. And there is the two covers of the Girls of Paper and Fire. So the one on the left is the Alcrate edition and the one on the right is the regular. If you can see that. So the Alcrate edition is gold and the background features more purple and it does have the exclusive map of the world which I am in love with. That map is beautiful. Again, I love books that have maps on them. So A+. Plus. And it has the little decal on the book cover front underneath the dust cover. There is, of course, the little word search with, I'm assuming, words from the Girls of Paper and Fire. And there are the three little book recommendations that you can read if you like Girls of Paper and Fire. So they are Court of Thorns and Roses, Ash Princess, and Blood and Sand. I have been meaning to read all of these, so... I will have to read those at some point. And there is another little interview with Susanna Draws, and she is the person that made the little sticker of Dumbledore and Fox, which I love, so that's cool. I'm going to read that. And there is the photo challenge for November, so those are kind of the things you can do in November to um, join the challenge. And there is a little thing about the December theme, but I'm actually going to look at the teaser card for that. So the front of it says, the theme of December is Power of Illusions. Ooh, and look at, look at that, you guys. So the back of it says, every box will include an exclusive item from Ink and Wonder Designs. Ooh, that's cool. And it's got like little little bookmarks, I think. Pretty sure those are bookmarks, but yeah, it's got bookmarks on there. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back to the newsletter because I forgot the teaser card only has a tease of the book. So I'm going to have to read this <laughs> to find out what's in the December box. <laughs> so the December box is built all around the themes of illusions and trickery, and I'm all for that. That is like one of my favorite themes in books, so that's exciting. And the book pick is a fantasy tale about a young orphan who must use her ability to create illusions in order to gain her rightful place in the palace court. She soon finds out that palace life is not what it appears to be, and the book will be a stunning exclusive edition and it will be signed by the author. Yes, I love when they're signed by the author. Sweet! You will also be getting gorgeous items inspired by books such as the Caraval series, The Night Circus, The Crown's Game, The Lunar Chronicles, and more. Ooh. Okay, and again, it says, it mentions the exclusive item from Ink and Wonder. So that is, wow, that book sounds very interesting. And I have absolutely no idea what it is. I haven't really been looking through list of books coming out in December so I have no idea what it is but the box itself sounds super cool and I am very excited to read that book when I figure out what it is. So I heard that some people were a little disappointed with the box this month but I gotta say I really liked it myself. Personally I really liked all of the items in the box this month and I Really, really, really did like the Owl Crate edition of Girls of Paper and Fire. I like how different the Fairy Loot and the Owl Crate editions were, and I like having the option of being able to read one edition or the other. 
books. Each book kind of has a pro to it, and I, I just love them both. So, yeah, I'm excited for December, and I can't wait to see what Alcrate brings.